The angled flight route function is a 3D photography solution developed by DJI, targeting topographical features such as buildings and hillsides. In this video, we will explain how you can plan a mission using the angled flight route function. Before starting the mapping process, make a general flight plan for the area to be mapped. Ensure that the firmware of the aircraft and remote controller with the built-in screen have both been updated to the latest version and ensure that they have sufficient battery power. Click the Plan button on the homepage of the GSRTK app to access the angled flight route function. Please ensure that you carefully read the user instructions for angled flight routes before using the function. Users can plan an angled flight route for the area to be mapped by using waypoints or by importing KML files. Waypoints can be planned across a variety of topographical features, including buildings and hillsides. Before starting a plan to perform an angled flight route that involves a building, it is recommended to first measure the mission distance. Create ground markings on the edges of the building to facilitate waypoint planning. After completing the preparation, turn on the RTK and wait for it to enter fix mode. Fly the aircraft to the lowest altitude possible, which is free of obstacles, and adjust the gimbal's angle to point it downward vertically. Move the aircraft to the first marked location, aim the center of the camera screen at the mark, and press the C2 button to record the location of point A. Fly the aircraft to the second marked location, and press C2 to record the location of point B. Adjust the gimbal's angle to zero degrees. Move the aircraft to the center of the building's rooftop and record point C. After the locations of point A, B, and C have been recorded, the target plane to be mapped has been set. Set the expanded distances from point C to points A and B, confirming the specific area of the building which will be mapped. Click Next and the app will generate the flight path. You can preview the shape of the flight path that is perpendicular to the target surface through the plan view window. The gimbal mode is set as being perpendicular to target surface. You can set the mission distance as required. Enable the shutter priority in camera settings. After completing the settings, save the mission. Waypoints can also be planned for areas with slight slopes, such as over fruit tree orchards. When planning waypoints over a slope, Confirm the general flight area and the locations of points A, B, and C. Turn on the RTK and wait for it to enter fix mode. Take off the aircraft and record points A, B, and C in the area of the topographical features. The three points are defined as the target plane for mapping. Set the expanded distance for point C based on the shape of the area to be mapped. Click Next, and the app will generate the flight path. Set the gimbal mode as being perpendicular to ground. A flight path based on the ground will be generated. In this mode, you can set the mission altitude and the flying speed as required. Enable shutter priority in camera settings. Save the mission. Waypoints can also be planned by importing a KML file. Access the angled flight route function, click on KML, and select the imported KML mapping area file. After the file is imported, you can set the expanded distances, speed, and camera parameters as required. After completing the settings, save the mission. Click Call, then Execute. Please read the usage notes carefully before flying the aircraft, then take off the aircraft, and it will complete the mission automatically. Thank you for watching.